This is a certified hood classic. What's good, family? It's a, it's another day, my boys. Look, man, look, man. We checking out Boom Docs. It's another episode, man. Look, bro. I hope y'all, I hope y'all enjoying this like I am, bro. Cause I'm, I'm straight enjoying this, bro. I hope y'all are, are sending the videos to your peoples, man. I need y'all support, bro. Not just the like, not just the comment. Send this video, send this series to somebody. Help your boy out, man. And without further ado, man, we getting ready to get into another episode, man. I love y'all, man. And let's get started. No. Without oh, admitting any guilt, we want to say we real sorry. We know you're upset, and you should be. Who did this? Which one of you killed the TV? Who did it? <laughs> Granddad, this isn't the time for pointing fingers. Hey, I, who, wait, I don't know if they're going to show us, but how much do you want to bet? How much would you want to bet it was Huey? How much do you want to bet, bro, on accident? Right. President Obama says we can't move forward Riley. looking backward. <sighs> I can't believe this. This isn't happening. It's not happening. I'm too old for this. I'm sick of having to beat y'all all the damn time. Here, this time you're going to beat each other. What? I said beat each other. Take turns. What? 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 Something's wrong. Granddad, I think you should calm down. How am I supposed to calm down? I'm dying and my TV's broke. <laughs> my chest hurts. It's a heart attack. No, my stomach hurts. My liver's is exploding. No, it's my bad knee. <laughs> That's not funny, but you're talking about my liver is falling. No, it's my bad knee. The room is spinning. Oh no! <laughs> you had an error, boy. Uglass. <laughs> is he I, dead? I think he's know. Harry, we have to call nine one one. Where's the phone? <laughs> oh shit! Oh no! <laughs> Do we still have to beat each other? Bro, I am you need to go get Tom or something, bro. What the, bro, what the fuck are they doing, bro? They they out there talking and shit, boy. Do, do we still have to get them? Yes, bro. Yes. No, no, no. I ain't gonna do it. I can't do it. I'm Come again. on. Let you need a physical. Go. Would you no. die? No, 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 please. I can't handle doctors. I'm not ready to face my own mortality. <laughs> no, 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 boy, go, you're good. No, no, we need you around no, as long no, as possible no. to cook and pay the mortgage. What if they find something terrible? What if they tell me I only have a month to live? That would totally ruin the rest of this month for me. I think, you know, the funny granddad's animation over time has changed, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, over time, it, it used, I mean, you know, the whole animation style changed. It gotten a little bit more HD, even though you might be, not be able to tell right here. You know what I'm saying? But it, it over time, facial expressions and things got a little bit more, uh, got, got better. You know what I'm saying, bro? A little bit more exaggerated, too, bro. Look, Mamiya, he's free. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going home. I'm going home. Dang, Dan, <laughs> Yeah, he is. He don't want to be there, that's why. It's been a while since your last checkup, huh? Says here you haven't seen a doctor in, oh, 57 years. Look, Damn! Get to, the, get to the point where you tell me I'm going to die. Now, <laughs> you say here you've had some irritable bowels recently? Yeah. And it also says here that you... Oh, oh, pardon me. Uh, Robert, this is Jessica. Jessica Robert. She's a medical student who will be observing today, if that's okay with you. Actually, I prefer if, uh... Patient has complaint of irritable bowels, also uh, diarrhea, mm -hmm. accompanied by a what? burning I sensation in the I anus. Well, it's not... I feel, I feel you, granddad. I feel you, bro. It's like, on one hand, you want a female doctor to get a bad bitch, then you don't even want to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? You be like... Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, though. I'm fine. I mean, I just came here, you know, little checkup or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Really just get out the house. You know, really just get out the house. He's like, but, sir, uh, it says that you're, uh, you shitted on yourself in the lobby. Huh? What? No, 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 no. Huh? What? No, I had a bag of beans. I had a bag of beans. I said on it. It was an old bag of beans. Bag of beans, pork beans. Not really burning. <laughs> it's more of a tingle. And also experiencing a lot of gas pains. Mm -hmm. Extreme flatulence. Mm. Well, that was uh, kind of a joke, really. Uh. <laughs> ah! Ah! Stop it. Give it to me straight, Doc. Robert? No! <laughs> I'm too young for that. <laughs> you don't want to hear it. There's so many things I haven't done. I want you don't my novel hear to be it. on Oprah's book of the month. Robert, from what I can see, there's a bunch of stuff wrong with you, but none that is immediately life-threatening. But what oh. I'm most worried about is your stress level. Is this how you normally react to stressful situations, Robert? More or less. But you have to understand, my life is more stressful than most people. 
My one grandson is a domestic terrorist, and the other one is a public menace. Robert, sure. Robert, Robert, a lot of people have True. stressful lives. Now, your problem is how you handle the stress. Now, I'm going to give you a bunch of pills to take, but I believe if you don't get your stress under control, you're going to kill yourself. Damn, bro, that's hard to hear. It's hard to hear because the stress is part of your fucking life. You know what I'm saying? You got good stress, got bad stress, bro. Stress is part of your life. And so you tell me something, if you don't handle your stress, but what happens when you just ain't in the position to really handle that stress, man? I got stress. I get stressed every damn day. <laughs> Shit. Old man, I can't move as fast as I used to. What's oh, up, old nigga? Uh, Got your lifetime supply of Viagra right here. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. I know it ain't Viagra because I already looked. Give me that. How <laughs> dare you open my package? <laughs> man, I'm just <laughs> with you, old nigga. What you got to eat in this? <laughs> hey, what Damn, you doing with all them pills for anyway, old nigga? You starting a pharmacy? Old some? nigga. My doctor gave me these pills. <laughs> oh, man. I ain't never took you as a sucker for the <laughs> pharmaceutical companies. Always trying to sell you some synthetic chemical bull. That don't do nothing but make you sicker. Well, he's True. a doctor and you a dumbass, so I'm listening to him. <laughs> Man, I don't never take no pills. Not that I can afford them, because uh, a nigga don't got health insurance, but still, Damn, I don't take no aspirin, uh, no ibuprofen, none of that. Bro, that nigga really fell from the top, bro. I really want to see him climb back up, bro. Yeah, he, he really he, he really fell from the top, man. Now, this right here, nigga, <laughs> this all the medicine oh. I need. What is that? Is that the weed? Reefer? Nah, nigga, it's weed. Reef for the same thing as weed. What? Keep it down. I have kids in the house. What, I can't say weed? Shh, how dare you bring drugs into my house? You can get us all arrested. <laughs> oh Man, don't you keep up with current events? Weed ain't illegal no more, nigga. Really? Hell yeah. Man, Obama came through and changed all that. Why the hell are you whispering there? Oh, because of kids. Well, I ain't know he did that. Yeah, man. So stop being so damn scared. I don't know. I knew a guy once who smoked some weed that was laced with angel dust. And he ended up running down the street in his oh underwear and woke up in a chicken coop. No, all these damn Friday references is, is it, it gives your boy life. That's what they like. That's what y'all young kids say these days. It gives me life or some shit, bro. I don't know. Nigga, it just makes me feel good just to hear it, bro, because of all the nostalgia, bro. Rest in peace. I keep on saying, I'm going to say it again. Rest in peace, granddad, bro. Rest in peace, Boondocks, too. Nigga, that was Friday. Was it? Besides, man, ain't nobody <laughs> with this. I know that nigga that grew it. I watched him take the butt off. You need to grow up and get high, my nigga. As a matter of fact, <laughs> since I'm the type of nigga that cares about your health and well-being, I'm going to give you this joint, nigga. I don't want your joint. Nigga, this just ain't no joint. Now, it's a, well, well, it is a joint, joint, but it's a damn good one. Nigga, this will change your life. Hey, huh? what y'all talking about? Huh? Huh? Nothing. Yeah. Nothing at Brand all. Granddad started to smoke weed. Going on tour with the fat boys or something. Congrats, no, tell it. Prince Marky D. I said hi. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, old nigga. Later, Riley. Who has uh, fat boy? He, Riley knows something's up. He knows something's up, bro. Damn. High blood pressure got you down? Ask your doctor if Zortofrenex is right for you. In clinical trials, Zortofrenex was proven to lower blood pressure. Ask your doctor before taking Zortofrenex. Women, pregnant women, and most men should not take Zortofrenex. And Known side effects include dry mouth, upset stomach, mild death, blindness, massive heart. Mild death? Did y'all hear it? Hold on. Hold on, bro. I swear this is how it be. Zortofrenex. Women, pregnant women, and most men should not take Zortofrenex. Known side effects include dry mouth, upset stomach, mild death, blindness, massive heart attack, difficulty breathing, and rectal fungus. Almost all men who took Zortofrenex experienced a severe loss in sexual performance. This is normal. What? Please stop taking Zortofrenex immediately if you feel mild discomfort on or in testicles, as this can be a sign of a rare and extremely unpleasant side effect known as total scrotal implosion. <laughs> Fuck no, nah, bro. Take the weed. Take the weed. Bro. Total scrotal implosion should occur. Call your doctor right away. If you cannot move or talk due to the debilitating pain of total scrotal implosion, please have a loved one call your doctor. There is no cure for total wow. scrotal implosion. So talk for next. Wow. Always the right choice. No, it's not. <laughs> Fuck no. Nah. I ain't mad at him, bro. Get your diet together, bro, and, and start smoking that herb. Why in the park, though? Right, as much as I love weed, weed does not help everything. You, you might need a, a bit of antibiotics somewhere, bro. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't help every fucking thing. Modern medicine isn't totally bad. This is not great. I wish weed was like that. No, that's angel dust. No. <laughs> weed don't get you looking at the sky like that. But this oh is the first time, too. It's beautiful. Yo, you smell
smell that? Yeah, but it can't be what I think it is. Breakfast. We got pancakes, uh. waffles, pork, sausage, turkey sausage, veggie sausage, eggs benedict, smoked salmon omelets, hash browns, and of course, huevos, rancheros. Oh, I can make you something up if you like. Granddad, why'd you make all this food? Because my boys have to grow up to be big and strong. I'm eating this bowl of Cheerios because you know what? The cholesterol's not gonna lower itself. Mm. Un chipmunk face ass boy. They got a blow puff face ass boy. This is puff face ass boy. Ugh. Damn, that was the best Cheerios I ever had in my <laughs> life. That wasn't a regular Cheerios, was it? No, no, no. That, that, that had to be Honey Nut. That's Honey Nut. Mm. I, I can fuck with Honey Nut Cheerios, though. It had to be I Honey can. Nut. It tastes like Honey Nut. Tastes like Cheerio, but nuts dipped in honey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they know this nigga. <laughs> oh, you boy broke the TV again. <laughs> you know what's funny? <laughs> when you think about it, all this stuff is really yours. I mean, how much longer am I going to be around? Because I'm really, 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 really old. This is your house. Hey. This is your stuff. This is your TV. You can break it if you want to. I don't care. <laughs> Damn, I like my TV. Hey, steady be bumping that shit, bro. Hey, it's your music. You made it. You did it. Do you, bro. What's up, old nigga? You got a pickup? No. I wanted to tell you I smoked that, you know, that joint. Shh. You Shut like up. it, right? That was off the chain, wasn't it, nigga? I couldn't believe it. I never felt anything like this in my life before. Can you get me some more? Maybe two, six, or seven? Man, you called my job and scheduled a pickup just so you can hit me up for some more trees? That's rude, man. First rule of being a smoker is it's bad manners to keep bumming all the damn time. Well, why did you want me to smoke it if I wasn't supposed to ask for more? Let me just buy some off of you. Or maybe put me in touch with your supplier or whatever. I don't know, man. He's kind of picky with his clientele. I mean, in the streets, they call him the weed kingpin. You know what I'm saying? But he might with you, you know, because you with me. Right. Man, he should have just sold it on the side. Now just stick with bro. me and don't say no dumb. You know. Hey, Otis. It's good to see ya. Who's this, your friend Robert? I'm not a narc. <laughs> uh, do you want to check me for a while? Because I'm not wearing one, so it's okay if you do. In fact, uh, this may be a bad oh, idea. Oh, chill, chill. Are you looking for anything there. particular? I mean, uh, Damn! a kind of high. I just need something to lower my stress. Let's get see. high! We got Bubba Kush, Lavender Kush, Telly Savalas Kush, uh, OG Scarlett Johansson. Mm -hmm -hmm. Hey, I even got one named after me, nigga. It's good for sitting on the couch all day and not doing <laughs> You know what? Try this. It's called Black Pearl. What's it gonna do? <laughs> You'll see. Oh, Man, shit. we've looked up the side effects to all of Granddad's pills, and none of them make you a happier, calmer, more well-adjusted person. Well, something going on. I don't know who that nigga is downstairs, but he. They are the feds, bro. They are doing way too much research, and it's not needed. Granddad is getting high. He's smoking that herb, that uh, tweed. I mean, that weed. <laughs> no, you better shut the fuck hey, up. Hey, Granddad. Granddad, we need to talk. Of course. What is it, grandson? <laughs> Man, where the real granddad? What you do with him? <laughs> Riley, you so crazy. <laughs> Look, boys, I went to the doctor and had a wake-up call, and I decided I'm not going to sweat the small stuff anymore. I'm the same granddaddy that you know and love. I'm happy. I feel good. And from now on, I'm going to appreciate life. Yeah, but that person is nothing like the granddad we know and love. Sure. Yeah, our granddad don't appreciate nothing. You an <laughs> imposter. <laughs> <laughs> you boys are hilarious. Don't forget tonight's my bungo night. You guys can stay over Tom's. Now give your granddaddy a hug. I'm so right. glad we had this talk. That is not like granddad is not. I I'm beginning to wonder about him and I know what's going on, bro. Never. Man, I just feel bad for the real granddad. He probably tied up in some basement somewhere, scared. We gotta find him, Huey, before it's too late. What is he doing over there? Sounds like he's dying. You know, he's always been a little strange. Man, <laughs> I'm about to go look. Come on, guys, you know the rules. Robert said no going back home during bongo time. I'm sorry. Look, 
I don't know who that fake-ass granddad is over there, but we gotta find out what's going on. Maybe he's on drugs. <laughs> you guys are overreacting. Your she granddad just it. wants a little privacy to release his creative juices. Stop and there's it, nothing huh? wrong with that. What's going on? Ah, oh, it's the cops. Wait, Riley, wait! Revolution is all over the world. Yes, it is. Boom, bam, boom, bam. Revolution. Oh, no. oh Grant, come. Put some pants on, man. Damn. Oh, somebody Bring get him. Oh, 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 <laughs> you scarred my baby for life, Robert. <laughs> oh, no. Well, it's not really his fault. <laughs> I'm so ashamed. <laughs> Riley, this isn't funny. Yes, it is. Granddad was smoking weed. <laughs> smoke it. Smoke it. <laughs> Boys, can you ever forgive me? I don't think it's a big deal, really. No, Huey. It's a very big deal. That's why drugs are so dangerous. Then you get addicted, and it destroys your life and the lives of those around you. You start playing the bongos really loud, and then you turn all Bobby and Whitney on us. I've learned my lesson. I'm never, ever, ever going to smoke weed again. Hey, there's Big Bobby. I got something special for you today. Ooh, lay it on me, man. They call <laughs> it Skywalker. Oh, oh shit. Skywalker OG, okay. Granddad, I know you're still smoking. What are you talking about? <laughs> Huey, I, I told you that was a terrible mistake I made, <laughs> and I'm never, ever going to do it again. I know when you... That nigga is high as fuck, boy. Find something you like, you tend to go overboard, so just be very careful. Like I said, I have no... <laughs> <laughs> this boy levitating like a Gengar, boy. Hey, what you talking about? Toodles. This nigga's high, boy. Oh, wow. you driving slow as fuck. You're a dick, dick boy. Uh -oh. Sir, can you tell me why you're driving so slow in the fast lane? Oh, no reason. I guess I just wasn't in that much of a rush. I didn't know you can get a speeding ticket for going too slow. Uh, Officer Douche. That's Officer Douche. Please, 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 Granddad, please, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Laugh about it later. Let it go now, bro. But I know he's not. <laughs> something funny no sir oh. officer <laughs> douche <laughs> why were you driving so slow in the fast lane oh just having a pleasant drive on a nice <laughs> summer's eve douche <laughs> are you going to jail bro you gonna go to jail you gonna go to jail please step out of the car sir oh, okay no. the defendant is charged with suspicion of driving under the influence of marijuana as well as possession of a mostly smoked marijuana cigarette so how does the defendant plead? Robert, I want you to plead guilty. Okay? No way. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Don't, it's just yeah, a first offense. No, 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 no. If, yeah, Obama, fix it up for everybody. What are you talking about? What are you talking that's, about? Well, that's why I voted for Obama. We can legalize weed. That's what we need. But, Tom, what happens if he goes to jail? Yeah, no, it's to just jail? a first offense. Everybody oh, can go to jail. Down. You're not sure about that. I ain't go <laughs> everybody can hear you, stupid. I don't need no foster care. I'm just going to foster care. No one's going to foster care. Everyone, could you please just shut up? Settle down, please. Your Honor, I would like to plead not guilty on the grounds that Obama legalized weed. Did he? Because I, I think I would have heard about that. I'm right. pretty sure he did, Your Honor. Who told you that? Doug Nificent. The rapper? Yes, Your Honor. Are you sure he's the guy to listen to about legal matters? What does your yeah. lawyer say? He looks pretty smart. I said, uh, no, Your Honor. But Doug so... Nificent sounded pretty sure. Huh. Well, he's pretty sure. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm also pretty sure. But <laughs> hey, you can look it up if you want. No big deal. <laughs> yes, please. Nope, nope. Sorry about that, man. Look at this. Wikipedia says weed is still illegal. Yeah, but it's legal over in St. Louis, you hear me, boy? Went to the dispensary the other day, boy. Got a little play, man. You already know, man. Hey, look, 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 look. I have never been so happy to go to the dispensary and try this. Ch I had some lava cake. <laughs> And I don't mean pastries. Really? Yeah. Wait, hold. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. It says here that several states have legalized medicinal cannabis. See? Unfortunately, this state ain't one of them. So, you know. True. Oh. 
So I guess your choices are to move to California, smoke all you want, oh. or, you know, just stay here and stop smoking. Or you can keep smoking and go to jail, but <laughs> that'd be kind of silly, don't you think? <sighs> yeah, that's what, uh... Oh, man. Robert, I can't believe how lucky you are. Lucky? You can get how is this lucky? I finally found a thing in life that makes me happy, and now they're going to take it away from me. Now, Robert, studies show marijuana can be very psychologically addictive. Man, f*** yeah, them studies. Right. I want my weed. I believe all the terrible things they told me about weed, and it was all a lie. And now you mean to tell me I could have had this the whole time? Who knows how different my life would be? I might be a Nobel Peace Prize winner, or eight-time gold medal swimmer, or even President of the United States. It's not fair. I have to go back to being the regular me. There's nothing wrong with the regular you. I'm telling you, the regular me is completely unacceptable. I don't even like the regular me. No one does. Yeah, he's got a point Wait. there. I don't even like him either. Look, Robert, That's I get it. Up, Everybody wants to escape from their problems, but there's a legal way to do it. Okay. Medical marijuana, bro. Say it with me, y'all. Medical marijuana. That's what it is, boy. That's the legal way to do it. But I don't know if they had it back then. Damn, but if some states had it, I don't know. I don't know. Didn't, didn't like some states had it legal, right? Cali, yada yada. But then, oh man, that's crazy. I don't know, man. I never knew they liked you when I first met you. Oh, you didn't like me. I didn't like you. Well, that's okay. I don't care who liked me, and I hate Ruckus. That son of a bitch. Well, we can agree on that. Let's find Ruckus and whoop his ass. I'm gonna whip <laughs> your ass. Oh, no, I don't think so. I will whip. Whoa, what the fuck is going on? Your ass with Ruckus' ass. Hey. I'm gonna, I'm gonna whoop your ass with Ruckus' ass. This is my Mary Jane now. <laughs> <laughs> What is you crying for, Tom? I think I'm gonna throw up. Oh, if I see or smell throw up, I'm gonna throw up. Oh, that got. Uh. Oh God! Damn, boy, big belly ass. That boy threw up in his shirt, nasty ass dude. Oh hell no! What the? Oh man, can you believe it, old nigga? Grant got raided. Look, 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 they taking the champagne, and the citrus buds, and the fresh mature, and the early misty, and the god bud, and the ice marijuana, and the island lady, and the curse. But I'm not gonna let them get away with this. I say we fight back. It's time for civil disobedience. It's time for action. Man, you do what you want. I'm gonna go back to work and cry. Sure. This don't ever do shit. Boy, get your kung fu master looking at his boy. What is this really gonna accomplish? What happened to you, Huey? I thought you believed in the revolution. I thought you were a freedom fighter. Granddad, you're not gonna end prohibition by getting arrested. Well, what if me and Rosa Parks had said that on that bus in Montgomery? What if me and Martin Luther King said that in Selma? What if me and Nelson Mandela said that during apartheid? When were you arrested in South Africa? Never mind that. Point is, you sold out. I think we should just move to LA. I'm gonna be the first nigga to be a blood and a crit. Granddad, nobody <laughs> solves problems by going to jail. They go, they go, they gonna deal with your ass, boy. I love you just say that. You do not want to do that, my jail boy. Anymore. Fine. What do you suggest? Look, if it's really that important to you, maybe we should just move to California. Then I'm gonna start in my own movie about the first nigga to be both the blood and the crit. I'm gonna play me. But I'm not leaving my home. I paid good money for this house, and now it ain't worth. So we're staying put. Then I'm gonna run up on a Fresh Prince kid and show him who the real Karate uh, Kid is. They ain't even paying a nigga. So what's more important, weed or us? Weed. Uh, well, he Man, said what he, he said. didn't even think about it. Right, he we're said what he said. We're here to of our brother, Grant, from the deep, dark dungeons of tyranny. This man was a peaceful man. He was a grower, he was a healer, and he gave me really good weed at very reasonable prices. Granddad, stop snitching. We right, won't let you push you. us around. We have the right to pursue happiness. And this is happiness. And I shall pursue it happily. Oh, no. Bro, you Wait, tripping. Wait, anyone have a light? Robert. Robert? Grant? But I thought you were in jail. Yeah, I posted bail. What are you doing here? So you're free? Yeah. Well, I got six months probation. Can't smoke. But weed's not worth my free. What are you doing out here? Wait, wait, I changed my mind. No, wait. Sir, I'm placing you under arrest for disturbing hey, the peace wait, and Robert. for possession of controlled hey, wait, substance. Officer, you have the right come on. You don't understand. I changed my mind. Forget all that stuff I said. I take it back. Do over. I'm a Republican yeah. Democrat. <laughs> conservative people. Granddad. Aw, oh, dude, I am so bummed to see you here again. Your Honor, I plead not guilty on the grounds I wouldn't have had to do a smoking protest if y'all had just let me have my weed in the first place. This is silly. I'm an old man. I fought for my country. I earned the right to smoke weed. Mm -hmm. Admit that I probably went too far. So I guess maybe I am guilty. Granddad, stop snitching. 
Anyway, I learned my lesson. And I decided if you let me go, I'm going to move to California so as to be in compliance with the law. What? All right! Really, Granddad? Yeah, yeah! I wanted it to be a surprise. Okay, Mr. Freeman, you got yourself a deal. I'll agree to no jail time, and you are free to go to California. Yeah, Immediately after serving three weeks of house arrest, followed by two years probation with mandatory drug testing, and then we'll throw in some community service just for fun. Ooh, shit. Well, by that time, weed was legal. <laughs> Hi, my name is Robert Freeman. Recently, Damn. I started smoking pot. Marijuana didn't make me happier. It didn't make me cool. It didn't do anything except almost cost me my family and my freedom. So if He's you want to be like me, a loser, go ahead and smoke. He's lying. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> That was crazy. Granddad, you make weed look so uncool. I don't think I'm ever going to smoke. Damn. Yeah, I think I'm going to go Granddad. take a stroll around the block. Because I can't. Want me to get oh. you anything while I'm out, Granddad? <laughs> yeah, bring me a brand new belt with a big spike buckle so I can whoop your little smart behind. Well, for what it's worth, it's not too terrible having the old Granddad back. Yeah, well, it's worth nothing, but thank you. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't mad at that, bro. I, I mean, honestly, bro, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. It, it was silly. It was silly. The whole war on weed, bro, was silly as fuck in the first place. It was, it was silly as hell. It's just sad, bro. It's one of those things that's that's just sad, bro. Y'all really were so focused on putting people away, locking people up for some fucking herb. You hear me? Cause smoke tobacco, blah blah. blah. But maybe if they just said, "Do not smoke and drive. Do not smoke and yada yada." Okay, that's understandable. That's understand. No, no, no. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to hear no bullshit. Is understandable. But come on, bro. In the privacy of your own fucking home, bro weed come on bro anyways i'm glad the motherfuckers got it together now that they can tax it make their money off of it man hopefully some of these people can get out of jail for that bullshit man but hey it is what it is it is what it is